Homegrown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. The sun ain't changing the atmosphere, architecture unfamiliar. I could get used to this. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you know where I'll be. Hey, I'm Hamza, and I'm here to talk to you about outdoor ed. Hey Hamza, want to tell us a bit about outdoor education? Sure. So outdoor education is a subject where we learn everything from the indigenous Australians to sustainability of the environment. Uh, in addition, you go to a lot of uh, fun excursions like a surf camp, snowboarding, all that sort of stuff. And yeah, overall, good time. So what's your favourite memory about outdoor education? Uh, it would have to be the surf camp earlier this year. It was so enjoyable. We got to go on a beach walk and we got to do surfing and sand dunning which is going down on um, a surfboard on the sand and it was so funny watching kids fall off and then we all got to like settle down and play games during, um, at night and it was just a lot of fun. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone so what excursions did you do? So this year we're going to have a two night camp at Sandy Point. We're going to do a lot of surfing. We're also going to have um, a one night stay at Wilson's Prom. Where we're going to do some hiking. And also finally we're going to have a one night stay uh, at we're doing snowboarding, which is yeah, also pretty fun, I guess. So does it bother you that you haven't done one, two outdoor ed? Not really, because unlike English and math, it, you don't really need the foundation stuff for it. You can just pick it up and you, you get it pretty quickly and it's like really enjoyable and different from the other subjects. So is there anything else that you learned or really enjoyed about the subject? Yeah, I really like learning about uh, Indigenous people. They were the first people in Australia and I think we don't necessarily have a good understanding of them beforehand, but once you really start to um, you know, get some knowledge on them, you have a, a newfound respect towards their culture and their people. Yeah, I get that. And like, I also really enjoyed learning about like how people would fight for like movements to protect the like environment. Like um, the Franklin River, there was a wilderness society and they went and tried to fight to get stop it from being dammed. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, just learning about surfing and how like a, like a, a range of practices can impact the environment. You, know, you don't think of that stuff beforehand, but once you start to learn about it, it's really interesting. Yeah, and also how the technology has like a massive impact on how it's advanced. Yeah, really epic. <laughs> South of the equator, navigator, gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. A deep sea diving round the clock, bikini bottoms, lager tops. I could get used to this. Time flies by in the yellow. Stick around and you'll see what I mean There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of If you need me, you know where I'll be I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feeling like someone